little bit of technical difficulties. We've had, we live in Oklahoma, and uh, the entire state apparently is covered by the st- angry storms of Cthulhu. <laughs> we lost power mm-hmm. for just a moment there. Just long enough to kick us off of everything, but not long enough to keep us from getting back on the air and back live. Good. So, you know, just one of them things. I apologize to anybody that was watching us live. Um, those of you listening to it on the podcast, you know, I'll just splice it together. Funny enough, it happened almost right when we start our main topic. So, we'll just kind of kind of kick it off from here. So, like I said, exactly. we were going on the werewolves, vampires, and other specialty creatures, things like that, uh, which the other ones usually are things either somebody makes up in a d- different way or demons is another popular one as well. Someone plays, you know, part demon or something like that, or uh, jazz is done the, like a succubus kind of thing as well here and there. So those kinds of things. So sorry, I've totally lost my train, train of thought on this whole damn thing. It's come well, off I the think, rails. One of the, I think for me, one of the important things I originally designed my character to uh to not be what she was it was i rolled her out to be a certain thing and then i didn't want to play her because i was like i can't i don't usually play non-mortal characters Mm -hmm. uh my husband called me a chicken and dared me to do it so i did and then i had to fit her into lore which was a lot harder (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) because D &D is not eq and while there are similarities they are not the same thing yeah and uh that's the trick a <laughs> seriously non mortal character that i think a lot of people screw up in my opinion because and i you know people are like you are the same way da 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 your character isn't lore and that wasn't true because if you did quest in eq you learned that there are people on this on, on EQ in EQ in, in the in the world. Okay, okay. First, let me stop you. You're just oh. beating around the bush. Just be honest. You're talking about people said that your character couldn't be psychic or telepathic because no such thing existed in that world. They no. were utterly wrong. There are psy- psionicists and things like that in that world. That wasn't They're, what they were saying. <laughs> that was one of them. I remember that was one complaint you that had, was you had one come to that... me. And that was a and that honestly I don't know okay, I don't know what your other one was, but that one in particular was retarded and i say that yes. knowing that that's a horrible thing to say but you know what it was an accurate word because there were literally cthulhu like creatures uh or what are those the the mind flayers from D yeah. they literally had those in the game and they yes. would little do a little psychic attack yeah. that was close enough to the sound well i mean we also had in quest where people were telepathically <laughs> communicating with one another from across great distances not to mention mages and stuff like that. So right. that was not a stretch at all. No, but we were it was still more something you got about... pinged for, which was yes, ridiculous. I got pinged for a lot of things because people resented yeah, that. Because you're a pain I... in the ass. Yes. Oh, I am. I'm sorry because and, uh, other reasons. I am a <laughs> a, a, a a bitch. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. That's why you're on I, the show. You yes, fit right in. I I am a bitch. I am a an elitist in many ways because I believe that you need to do your research before you make a character. I believe that nah, if there is that's a different no van- kind of elitism though. That's I gotta disagree with you on it. You're not you're a I would maybe a lore Nazi. Okay. Yes. Lore Nazi. That would but, probably be better. But that's lore not Nazi elite. is much more accurate. Elitism is is you you never shunned anybody that didn't shun you first. No. That would be elitism. No. And I would tell them this character won't fit into the guild because of X, Y, and Z. But you know, I'll role play with your character, right. and I'm not going to treat you badly, even though you are a ten thousand year old vampire and they can't possibly exist. That's what you want to do. That's your business. But it doesn't fit into lore, therefore it can't be in the guild. Yeah, kind of like uh, those people I mentioned. Those uh, the te- uh, the uh, servants of the temple. They are yes. there are full on doctrine of the the tribunal of the Dunmer in Elder Scrolls. That's yes. that's their thing. So if you try going into their guild as... I, they literally have a test for vampires and werewolves. Before my, I, that alt I made, she had to be cut with a silver blade. And if there was a reaction to the blood, she wasn't... Well, probably she'd have her skull bashed in right then and there. Right, right. <laughs> but she would not be allowed to be part of the three because they that's that's completely against their doctrine. 
to right, allow such exactly. a creature into their ranks. And you can't, you just have to understand that. It's it, not every guild is for everybody and not every right. character, especially mm-hmm. when you play those specialty ones like a vampire or a werewolf or or anything uh, that, that you were talking about. You, you have yeah. to respect the guild. It's not elitism. There's there's a reason the guild might be popular. It's because they stick to their guns and don't just right. just cave in to anyone's demands. And it's also important to, at least for me, I could not have had my character, Vakarina, if it had been lore-wise impossible for her to exist. I couldn't have done that. Now, some people can, but I, I, I couldn't have done it if I hadn't found something in lore that said, yes... This world is actually a portal to to the to the outside world the, and yeah, magically draws people in. Yeah, the void is like everywhere around it, and it has got portals it's a dimensional everywhere. Tra- yeah, it's it's yeah. it's it's the mul- it's the in Marvel terms, it's the gateway to the multiverse. It's yes, the ga- it's it's the sliders portals that you see in that old crappy television everything, show. Everything, yeah, everything is pulled to, to to there, and so if you because my characters original story not that i most people were aware of it that they were originally a long long time ago when they were first brought to norad were actually going from point a to point b and got sucked in there without intending to go there and then couldn't leave so yeah. that was that, it, it made sense it fit yeah and that leads into the thing with uh like werewolves and vampires that you you that was part of your character's background and it wasn't something that was necess- it was it was something that fueled them, and it was something that, you know, you, uh, like how you grow up with your parents and how they shape and mold you. You don't go talking about it to everybody about, you know, how good or bad your parents were all the time. That's just, it's a part of you. So same thing with being a werewolf or a vampire. You don't have to be going around and being like, you know, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I do that. I am evil vampire. I will suck your blood. Yeah, and, and yeah. you know, in... And that kind of, you know, and werewolves, you know, you don't have to go humping your chew toys all over the middle of the friggin' tavern <laughs> every day. We get it. You're a werewolf. We know. Now put Scruffy down. But <laughs> They're so funny. Yeah. But, like, you know, in, in Guild Wars, so. there wasn't any. And yeah. Uh, Final in Fantasy. some games, Final yeah, Fantasy, uh, there does are not no have vampires. Them. There are no werewolves. It's just simply not done. Or Final Fantasy so, 14. Technically, Vincent from Final Fantasy 7 was kind of a vampire. But yeah, that's he doesn't true, exist but, in Final Fantasy 14. So, right. no. So, in that sense, I couldn't have played my character in Final Fantasy, for example, because there's no way for her to have gotten there in the first place. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then, so I wouldn't do that. Yeah, and it's and that's actually what, one of the things we have on here is, and it's uh, it's like the third thing we have, but it's literally the fourth, the, the first, the fourth. They both start with F. It's close enough. Get off my back. I've had a weird day. Follow the <laughs> damn lore of whatever game. The vampires in Elder Scrolls are not the same as the vampires no. in EverQuest, and the ones in EverQuest aren't the same, and uh, the werewolves in EverQuest aren't the same as those that were in Rift. And no, you, you need to know the lore for the spectral creature or night spawn uh, or like, whatever like, game AOC, you're in. And, Conan, both vampires yeah. and werewolves are mindless. Yeah, they're so basically you have, just beasts. Yeah, so if you want to come and play a werewolf, I suppose you can, but you can't sit there and be accepted by yeah, more you're, people like you're me. You're not going to have enough control to hump little Scruffy in the middle of the tavern. You're just going to basically right. tear Scruffy's head off and then try to kill everyone around you. Right. Um, you know, that is, I think, the point that a lot of people miss that I'm making is when I'm telling people, they're like, you have this super fantastic character, but you're saying I can't be a 10,000 year old vampire. I'm like, because mm-hmm. there are no vampires that can be that old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And I, and I've done that too. I like, uh, some of my characters, Xanis, he, he wasn't any of those things. Cause I, nothing against werewolf and vampire players. I just find it I find it excessively boring. I mean, I I, I understand the I, I'm personally more of a vampire uh, fan than werewolves. I've never really understood the uh, werewolf thing personally. It's just it's just not my bag, you know. And it can be your bag. That's cool, dude. Whatever, you know. Float your tail, wags your tail. Yeah, wags your tail. We'll go with that. But uh, <laughs> it's just never been my thing. I I I you know with Xanus, I I did have him as he had found other ways to pro- prolong his life, you know, 
and I used things like the uh, Phoenix, because that's one of my favorite characters in X-Men, but it wasn't a Phoenix Force. I just happened to enjoy the lore of a Phoenix itself, the death and rebirth. And uh... and there was one. Yeah, yeah. there was technically, and, and there were a few... Uh... In EQ1. I don't think there were... There, I there never weren't seen any, any in EverQuest 2, except for on the Monk line, there was actually a skill or two yes. that had the word yes. Phoenix in it, which... The word existed. The word exists, that means the, the yeah. lore somewhere has to be, even if they've never right. touched on it. And that was... But again, it wasn't always a huge predominant, like, yeah, you know, until much, much later in the life. And at that point, I was around my group of friends. And that's the other thing. If you're going to do that, you got to do it around the same a group of people that are willing to accept you as that because as with all role play right. if the people around you aren't buying it ain't nobody gonna buy it brother ain't yeah nobody and like it. i didn't discuss what my characters were and if somebody said something like tabaka that she was some kind of a demoness uh she would just smile and say no i'm not yeah you know and they're like your character is lying well yeah uh, she's self or looks like one anyway. Wait a uh, minute. Are you that assassin <laughs> from that series of video games known as Assassin's Creed? No. Why do you ask? Well, the white yeah. rose was kind of what gave it away, but... And the knife in my chest. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think the line for a lot of people that I think a lot of people didn't grasp was that I didn't care if your character didn't believe that my character was X, Y, or Z, but she played as if she was immortal anyway. She didn't tell people that she wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was just something you learned if you were around her long enough that something wasn't quite right about yeah. their family line. <laughs> yeah, and see, and that's one of the things, like with vampires, at least in, um, in, in places, in worlds where they are able to actually hide, uh, to use the Witcher frame, the uh, high, high vampires, to use Witcher terminology that would look looked human, could pass for human. Uh, maybe they ha didn't go sunbathing very often, but, you know, <laughs> it's a fantasy <laughs> world. Who cares? But, the masquerade, which is right. obviously borrowed but, from White Wolf, but a lot of people use yeah, that. But mm -hmm. if you can pass for that, that's all well and good. You just go along with that. But um, it's one of those things where, too, you, when, you, when you do reveal yourself, you have to it, you know your audience. You know, with werewolves, it's You're a little different because they can people... hulk out. You know, if they're yeah. like, "Ah, I'm so angry," I got You're a tail. Always going to have people who won't who won't believe it or won't go along with it, and you just have to roll with it because yeah. that's the cost you pay for playing a supernatural character. I it, it never really bothered me. What bothered me was when people attacked me for yeah, insisting don't attack on lore over my character. Saying, well, you have this, so I should be able to do this when they were not quite the same thing. Yeah, yeah. A, A doesn't equal B, doesn't equal C, doesn't equal, you know, Pew, D Pi, who's a terrible person. Um, completely unrelated. I just think he's an idiot. So, <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, so you got you have to follow your lore. You know, when it comes to vampires, werewolves, uh, half demons, uh, demon halflings, which let's be honest, all <laughs> halflings are actually demons. Uh, you, you've got to follow 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 that lore. Know know the people you're around, and as you were just saying, if uh, if somebody doesn't buy it, you know, and there's two different kinds of not buying it. So there's the in character <laughs> version, which is perfectly acceptable. Just because you are this thing doesn't mean the people in character around you have to believe you or even take it seriously because you know they could just think you're a raving lunatic, which is right. perfectly acceptable. Yes, it and is. And then there's the other kind which out of character just attack you for it which and and that can actually go both ways because they could have a legitimate complaint as in uh like you know what you were saying i'm a ten thousand year old vampire okay well you're not because lore wise that hasn't even existed for that long the disease of vampirism hasn't been around for that long in that particular game so you actually can't. That's not so much. That's out of character telling somebody, trying to inform them of lore, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, those temple people, I'm going to bring them up a lot because I've had a lot of interaction with them this last week because I've been trying to relearn and reintegrate. And I've been bouncing things off of them. And there's been a lot of stuff where I'm like, okay, so would this work? And they're like, yeah, because they, they know I'm, I'm going to them for a reason. And it's not to get their just. It's not really to get their blessing. It's to use their knowledge of which they've been playing for the last, you know, three years. Not all of them, but many of them. 
have been playing in the guild for at least a year or several months, so they're much more uh, acclimated, and that that lore is fresh in their minds, and they know it inside and out, like I used to with EverQuest or how I do with a lot of Star Wars stuff. So yeah. there's no that's what we've said before. You, if you know somebody and they're perfectly willing to help bounce ideas and and go back and forth on the lore, use that person. There's no mm-hmm. shame in admitting you don't know something. Oh yeah, there is a and lot I do that more shame a lot right now. in pretending yeah. you do and sounding like a complete jackass. Right. Don't do because that. I, yeah. When I had Swallow to build my werewolves, my werewolf, uh, I had to build her story. I had to bounce it off people who've been playing this game a long time because I didn't know culturally how things work. So it required me to go to people who did know and say, well, what about this? Well, what about this? Would this work? How about this? Until I finally got something that would work. And there's no shame in that. It's important to do that, in my opinion, so that mm-hmm. you get something that is usable and that a large majority of people are going to accept both IC and OC. Yeah. yeah. So you, we, we've been rambling on back and forth. you got anything to, to, to slip in here, Sib? Uh, no, I don't. I haven't really ever played a vampire or a werewolf in any of the games I've played. So I'm kind of I was tr- sitting here trying to think if I've ever played a character that has that's different. But yeah. Most of mine I just you, kind of stick to you, Yeah, you play pretty uh, you know, Jane you know, Mary Jane type of character. And I think that's just because I'm not comfortable mm-hmm. with, you know there are so many different lores when you go you yeah, get into you learn these the supernatural yeah. so let me, let me characters. Ask you, ask you this so. then. So as somebody that really doesn't play that stuff, when somebody comes at you with that, how do you t- tend to, you know, what, what do you do with them? Yourself. Because I don't know a lot of the lores in the games concerning those, you know, playing the werewolves or vampires. Mm-hmm. I try to be open-minded. I don't, of course, with any role play i'm open-minded and i try to you know unless it gets to a point where i can see they're trolling or you know they're just you know trying to be goofy as happens to you a lot trying to just get your pants yeah but i i just i try to be open-minded and you know if that's what they want to play more power to them Mm -hmm. I, i feel like it's we do this so we can enjoy and be what we want to be in the game. So I don't want to be the person that takes it away from somebody. So I try to give them the benefit of the doubt and just play along. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's perfectly acceptable as well, you know. And there's, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with just kind of roll, you know, roll with the punches. At least, yeah. At the very least, piece, give the person, let them, let let it, let them give them the chance to see where it's going. You know, and if it yeah. turns out that they end up being completely ridiculous, and and that's the other, we'll, we'll go into that too. Is another thing that tends to happen with some people, not everybody, but a lot of people that do these things, is they get their, they like it so much themselves that they tend to start to god mod it, like you know, I'm the vampire, I'm the daywalker, I'm Blade, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, I'm the God, guy that yeah, owes the IRS a lot of money. <laughs> Again, another uh, Wesley Snipes reference for anybody yes. that doesn't know. He got in a lot of trouble with the IRS, much like Nicolas Cage, is which is why Nicolas Cage is the white Samuel L. Jackson and appears in everything, but with much less talent. So it's just you, you just gotta let them at least give them the option to see where it goes. And yeah. oh yeah, you know, I and, have no and problem. And if they start with... to God mod, that that's that's not just that it, that's just. That's that's the uh, conduit through which they're going to do the eventual god modding anyway. Because if they're gonna, someone's gonna god mod, they're gonna do it no matter what they're playing. But it does tend yep. I, not again. No, you're not wrong. It don't tends chill, to happen don't, more. Don't, with non- don't write us any angry letters. Or in fact, you know what? Go ahead and write us angry letters. I don't mind. If you play a werewolf or a vampire, a lot of the people that play what you do, god mod. And I yes. hate to say that. And not all of them. We've actually know. Uh, at least one of each of those two player player bases that are excellent at it. Yes. Uh, both werewolf actually would it be yeah both the werewolf and the vampire we've known two yeah. very great players we've known actually we've known a lot but two of them are are actual personal friends of ours now through the games and 
they've done an excellent job. The, shout out, shout out. You got to say your name. Ah, God, you know, I just don't like them enough to give them the shout out. <laughs> oh, it's, Griger. Uh, Griger, Griger and Tilder, yes. And Tilder. There you and go. From EverQuest 2. Um, I don't know that I, are either of them even playing anything at the moment. Do you even... I don't think either one of them. Yeah, I think they've both right kind now. of shuffled off with real life stuff, which happens. Yeah, it's just a yeah. shame too because they actually were excellent role players, and in yes. uh, the role play community as a whole is lessened yeah. for the for the the lack of them. But real life does come first. Blah blah blah. I've got a family. I yeah. have to feed them. But whatever. I get it. <laughs> oh, I love my family. Oh. <sighs> God, I can't wait till ours move out. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Where are we on this thing? Um, so, we, uh, we hit God, mod God modding. Uh, another version, too, of course, is anything with special powers. Be that, I, I call them X-Men mutant stuff. <laughs> Regeneration, uh, psychic abilities, be that telepathic, telekinesis, uh, pyrokinesis, any of the wonderful kinesises, mm -hmm. of course, yes. of the clan kinesis. Yeah. Well, if you can back it up kinesis. in a magical world, I don't Evil think it, 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 I don't think it, it's special powers in a in a super magical world, but there's still a line. Mm -hmm. And it's important to know where the lore stands when it comes to that sort of thing. Yeah, there's a line and more in in and knowing the lore and also one of the most important thing for these types of characters. Give them a damn weakness. You cannot yes. mm -hmm. be the super edgelord Goku Super Saiyan 47. Sorry. You've, it, you're you a boring... If your character does not have flaws and weaknesses, I, I'm just going to say this, your character is boring. They have got to have, whether it be it, physical and preferably mental too, that they struggle with things, just like everybody yes. does. You know, all well, the I best think that's characters true, do. especially if you have a... It's almost more important if you have a powerful character to write something in. One of my oldest and most powerful characters was Toyana, and she was batshit crazy. So it was important <laughs> to give people- Yeah, it took a mental tour, <laughs> that much that much power, it took a mental- uh, Yeah, uh, she we'll was with, ancient, and we'll the older the she got, the more crazy she got. And yeah. I think that that's true. If you have any, like I had a, a, a friend of mine that played in superheroes, but. He said, "If you, the more powerful they are, the more flaws they're going to have. That's the only way to mm -hmm. play so that they're not boring and they're not stupid and they don't annoy people. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. uh, one of those two, uh, I'll go, I was going to say, is going with X-Men Legion, which was the uh, son of Professor Xavier. He, he literally could rewrite reality with his mind. He, he could make reality what he wanted. He could time travel. He could, you know, there's actually a show on FX right now based on that, and it is fucking weird it is one of the it weirdest is. damn show i finished watching it she i can't i she can't get through get the first through. yeah the yeah. first episode i was like uh i've seen some weird stuff but i cannot do that and it is all connected to to the x-men universe that fox has done for the most part they even show an, a, a wheelchair with an x on it Ooh, who could it possibly be he was adopted there's no telling professor x obviously whether it's mcavoy or uh, stewart we have no idea but he is so powerful he's he's lit he's just crazy he can't tell because he can shift reality he can't tell he can't tell reality anymore he doesn't it doesn't it's a concept that's completely weird and he accidentally went back in time and uh, killed his own father and that created the age of apocalypse but that's in the comic books and that's completely and that's a whole another nerd podcast you can get from someone else but the point is he was super powerful but he had a massive flaw and for in this case i mean playing a character that crazy in an mmo is probably not going to get you very far because a lot of people will just start to shun it like a lot you know like a lot of things there's people that play the really weird and out there characters don't get offended when people don't take you know they, they it's it's fun in small doses but it's hard to base a character brand new out of the gate on stuff like that so if you're going to make them that strong you've really got to work up to it yeah. If you've got a super powerful character, like mine, had a lot of what I would consider to be almost godlike powers, but they were God, very easy. They were very easy to kill. They just reburned. But yeah. it wasn't hard to kill them <laughs> in the sense that they were they were just, you know, they, they made blood a little faster. They they were a little uh more super durable, susceptible but, to uh 
certain if I remember yeah. right, it was certain elements of cold or Vaka. Or Vaka was a fire, so ice could take her right out of the yeah. game, and and that was always really funny too. Mm -hmm. Like remember one Silver. time, and I know you about fell out of your chair. I know this was really funny. We were out, we were role, we were role playing, but we were leveling. We were all together. I think we were raiding actually, and uh, as a uh, warden Vaka with an ice ring remember those because the, the the wizards could do that oh yeah with that ice yeah, ring yeah, yeah. around that, you that chunk chunk and, chunk 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 yeah it looked like and a I sent him... really shitty sg1 <laughs> portal yes yeah. yes and i sent a, a thing over the raid and i was like please tell me that wasn't dicey and he was like yeah it is and i was like well i'll have to switch characters <laughs> yeah <laughs> that took her out slash e <laughs> Flops yeah. <laughs> on the ground, twitching and drooling and muttering obscenities about Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that was important, at least for the people that I played with, because I think it made them feel less godlike because they did get hurt and they did really almost yeah, die. Yeah, all they had to do was throw a glass of cold iced tea on you and you were down for the count. <laughs> that was a second degree burn. Yeah. I mean, it was a serious <laughs> weakness. Yeah. But yeah, it's just you just if you're gonna do those things, you've got to you know, uh, what do I have on here? Um, you know, you could, yeah, uh, just uh, that's okay. We're gonna go into another aspect of doing these certain characters. Um, just because you can be like, I'm gonna threaten you by extending my canines. <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Doesn't mean you should. I mean, it's really cool and it's really awesome in a book. But that's a controlled environment, too. And once you let that cat out of the bag in an MMO, it's like fucking high school. Hey, did you hear so-and-so has fangs? It's it's done. <laughs> you're, you know, yeah. you've know, you got to yeah. pick your moments. If you're going to don't, – don't waste it on certain things. Um, because once it's out there, it's out there. You can't put it back in the bag. So just because you um, – like can you, like I uh, shoot lightning bolts like Raiden from Mortal Kombat or that really other Raiden from uh Big Trouble in Little China. Who yes, is yes. freaking awesome. I love that movie. Way better power than the guy that just makes himself fat. Just gonna say that. I don't know <laughs> what the deal with I'm gonna blow myself up. Okay, well, there's one bad guy down. <laughs> but uh, That was just, David Lopan in Big Trouble in Little China. No, oh, no, yeah. that was David oh. Lopan was the little creepy old guy that went. Yeah, he went from. No, no, the oh, the one that it, okay. he was one of his three he bodyguards. Was the boss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. He 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 the the guy that made himself explode yeah. was one of the mini bosses. But and he was it, thunder, not Raiden. Well, the Raiden guy was the thunder lightning guy, and then there was getting off topic. I'm sorry. Well, no, we're gonna. This is important stuff here because there. Were, okay, so there's David <laughs> Lopan. Who could both go to the crazy old guy and then the creepy w old guy with the white white face and the funny hat? And okay, he yeah. Had his right, three right. bodyguards, which was the Raiden. I, I swear to, it had to be Raiden. That was clearly based on Raiden. He had the yeah. hat. He had he was Raiden before Raiden was Raiden. And then there and was then the guy that rain. swelled up. <laughs> he was Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. And then they had Rain. And the other guy was just really good with combat stuff. He was he was actually he was good. rain. He got he got. They uh, were the elements, honey, or the like rain, thunder, and lightning. Yeah, well, yeah, he still yeah, got killed correct. to a uh, to uh, you know Jack Button. Who's Jack Button? I am. By just Did catching you say button, but Jack Button. Burton. <laughs> It's my okay. shitty Chinese accent. You want okay. me to do the real Chinese accent? I can do no, that. No, 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 But no. So anyway, uh, opportunity insulter. Yes. I, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm an equal. Nobody <laughs> saying nobody. I think it was my own father, and I quote, "Mike, you're kind of an equal opportunity offender, aren't you?" Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I am. You By are. the way, you're on. You're, you owe me back pay for my, my, my uh, what's that thing where parents pay you? Allowance. Yeah, we'll go with that. I was going to say blood money, but sure, go with allowance. So anyway, so just because you can <laughs> do the lightning bolt thing and threaten somebody or do something with your special abilities or something like that doesn't mean you always should. I mean, it's kind of cool. Or if you're, you know, you're in one of those like brag offs with somebody else, you know what? Sure, just go balls to the wall, just, you know flip the dagger over the hand and do the riddick thing or you know sh shoot lightning up their ass whatever 
<laughs> but don't be like surprised if they do it right back to you. Right. Because right. it is RP and you have no control over the other character. Yeah. Very or the reaction. other person's character. Yeah. So yeah. when you start doing that stuff, and also, you know, then cat's out of the bag. You know, that could have been used awesomely in combat. Uh, okay, I'm going to give an example. I did that once in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, my ca- character was a Sith, and they were fighting. It was a roleplay fight. And uh, I only, I'm only saying this because I know I got comments on it afterward that were were thought it was pretty cool. So I'm going to go with that it was cool. But uh, character got sliced, and he was a Sith Lord. And what he did was he, he put his hand into the wound, and, and I had it planned out. It just came to me, and he splattered the blood from between him and the opponent. And the guy... That was basically what looked like a wasted turn. So then the guy, of course, charged it in with his lightsaber, and my turn came up, and he slapped his hand and channeled the dark side of the force and threw elemental dark side lightning into it, and then through the connection with the blood, shot all the bolts of lightning straight up from all the droplets of blood between him and the other guy, who was, of course, now mid in the middle of that blood trail and just fried the crap out of him. Nice. That was a good time mm-hmm. to use that ability because it <laughs> meant something. Not, Not like, like, hey, you want to see it. something neat? I know we're in a diner, but watch this. I'm going to cut yeah, myself with a salad fork and, zzz, you know, it's, it's, there's, it's, it's, I mean, come on. We're, we're in role play because there's a certain amount of, we love story, we love character development, and on top of all that, that little cherry, we love showmanship. We mm-hmm. love to show off. You know, yes. we love to try it. It's <laughs> it's role play is at its core a it's like that lip syncing combat or that lip sync show where they the two like celebrities lip sync each other back and forth and like, you know, a duel. It's basically a writing duel. You're literally trying to one up the other person in terms of writing and ideas and originality. And that's what that's all about. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why some people love to play these <laughs> werewolf and vampire characters is because. It, it it gives them kind of an edge on that, or it's just something they're a huge fan of. You know, they could, it's just, you know, like furries. That's why people play those Khajiits. Oh my. <laughs> what? I'm just saying there's a connection. Now. There's a connection. I can't, I actually <laughs> literally can't stop. This is a, this is a podcast. It's a talk show. Uh, where yeah. You're supposed to talk. <laughs> if I didn't talk, it would sound like this. See? That's <laughs> terrible. It's not even fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my gosh. But yeah, there's you, you just have to have just just logic these things out. You know, if your character is a vampire, your character's a werewolf, your character's uh, you know, what Vacarina or I had or anybody else has or your part demon, you've for one, be within the lore. And second on top of that, why? Why uh, know why you want to do it and moreover, even more important than why you want to play that? Why is your character like that? Because if you can't explain it other than just because you're you're failing to tell the story, there has to be a story behind almost everything mm-hmm. you do. Just like everything you do in real life, there's a reason you're acting like that. There's a reason I'm doing this show with you you two. It's because we love role play. We thought we could do it. Turns out, I mean, that's still up in the air. <laughs> I guess I don't know. We're getting more in people, which if you would like to spread the word, go ahead, like, share, and comment. <laughs> YouTube terminology. But uh, you, you just have to, yeah, you have to be ready. Just just get out there and, and do it. And, you know, you got to, you got to develop that idea. Just, just make that, make that make sense not just for you, but for those to, around you, if it ever comes up, and it and if it doesn't, yeah, that is just that's know a that very you important have it. point. Yeah, because it, role play isn't just about you. When you're role playing and no one else is around, like if you're in a game that is a single player and you're role playing your character in your own head, and, mm-hmm. and that's one thing. But when you're role playing in a community, it's not just about you. It's not just about what you think is fun. If what you think is fun affects the community to the point that people don't want to play then that's bad so yeah. or, always or, keep in mind or if they don't that, want to play with you because that hurts right one it, it's a negative impact on them and it's going to be a negative impact on you because the more people kind of start to drift away from you or you're because you, you're not really thinking things through and given 
this happens over a period of time. It's not like, well, this guy, 13 seconds later, this guy clearly has no idea what the hell he's doing, slash block. <laughs> yeah, I think I think most role players are very patient. They're, and we will, yeah, they are. And we'll, we'll, we'll let somebody go quite a while before they're like, okay, dude, no. We'll give you, you enough know. rope to hang yourself with. <laughs> yeah. yeah and that rope might be a mile long, assistant. but yeah. eventually nobody wants like, to be the asshole. No, I mean, yeah. I, okay. Very few people want to you, be you the want asshole. To be an asshole. Yeah. And, and also, as a guild leader who has who has done the roleplay thing and who has run a roleplay guild, I do want to point out that every game doesn't always have enough lore to cover what people want to roleplay. And that's the truth. You know, and so a lot of times you have to rely on other sources of lore, and picking and choosing what that is is hard enough. But doing it in a community setting so that you don't alienate one person or another. For example, in EQ, there wasn't a whole lot of werewolf lore at all. They were just kind of there. And there was no real explanation. There was a couple quests, and we kind of based everything off of that. So mm -hmm. a lot and of like times the vampire lore, lore, which was rich and one of the very, the main villains of the game was Mayong Mistmore. <laughs> mayonnaise, right. mayonnaise Mistmore. Yeah, there who was, had been there around was since a lot EverQuest of lore. 1, and even it, before that... <laughs> The yeah. EverQuest Adventures, PlayStation 2 exclusive. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there was a lot of stuff to pull out for vampires, but there were some blank areas. And so after a lot of thought and, and such, we decided to use a little bit of White Wolf to kind of fill in the blanks and to let people know that this is what we do in this situation to explain this. Um, and in Werewolf lore, again, um, I usually gave people a choice. Uh, because I would say, if you want to do this part of werewolf lore, then you need to be human, and you need to be X, Y, and Z, because you're using this lore. And this lore makes these statements, so you can stick with this. If you want to have it be, like, hereditary and all this other stuff, then you can choose this lore and run by this. But I you can't didn't help that I it. was born like this, Jazz. I was yeah. born <laughs> with a werewolf spirit and actually literally physically hey, a werewolf hey that's actually that's actually uh, a line of role play uh, yeah i know I that's what i'm saying but in yeah. you know in a game like everquest 2 as well and and actually probably a lot of others i would assume um there's actually uh, funny enough there's a a book series called like and fallout uh, by mark tufo who it's a continuation of his zombie fallout series which if you've never read anything from mark tufo fucking read it he the man is hilarious and his his books are actually pretty deep and thought felt but he had lichen fallout and one of the things he had there were the lichen which were they were the they were the true they were they weren't werewolves they were lichen they were born they were, that way that was yeah. their pack they hunted humans and then there was what they could turn others into the humans which were werewolves which actually they saw as mm -hmm. abominations and uh, almost despised anybody that allowed such yes. a thing to happen. But through the storyline, there was a reason that all that stuff happened, which I won't spoil. But right. yeah, a lot of things there is that lore. But in some and in some lore, it's the same damn thing. It doesn't matter. You're right. a lichen is a werewolf. A werewolf is a lichen. There's there's it's just well, an interchangeable in a, work. And, and not in everywhere. A lot of, yeah, in but a in lot some of them. lore, there's a there's a line between being born a werewolf and, and being turned. Right. A lot of lore does that, not just. Yeah, and, and then it, and then in others, you know, movie. It, typically, this one hits more movies because it's yeah. As a video, then game, in movies, there's no difference. Yeah, at all, in, so. in movies, werewolf, it's just a it's just a virus kind of a thing. But then again, some would do that with vampires. But video games, that kind of gets boring. You know, it's a it'd be a, like a at that point, it would be a plague that would destroy the world. So they they typically don't do that because it doesn't make for a very good MMO when everyone's already dead or a werewolf. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Apparently, that's not a great light of storytelling so next but from it, yeah uh, but it Daybreak does require Grange, like in everything you know it does require that you read and know a little bit about what you want to do so that you can or like one of the things that that recently that i ran into was a gentleman who was playing a lichen who was extremely uh open with his affections um and was playing a lichen as if that was normal <laughs> And I had to explain to him. Someone's that, been watching too much True Blood. Yeah, it was like actually, <laughs> was he you know, butts? <laughs> werewolves are wolves, and they pattern after this idea, at least in many lore systems, that they are a one man, one woman kind of thing. 
Now, not all of them, like in ESO, that doesn't exist. So you can tell that they're just kind of these free spirits that go around. But in, in EQ, that wasn't the case. And it's important to have that conversation and say, okay, which floor base are you using? Or are you just doing this so you can get as much tail as possible? And that's okay. I no just want to know tail. which one it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> no I just want to know which one it is. That's all. <laughs> Um, so it, it, if you want to play a heroic, what I, I like to call them heroic characters instead of non-normal, but non-mortal. But I call them, I call them special. I was, what do we call them in this? Specialties. Specialty yeah, characters. Specialty, that's kind of what they specialty, are. Specialty, yeah, specialties. They're specialty. also that. Heroic or specialty characters. If you want to do that, Well, just... Jez, we're all heroic at heart. <laughs> ho, 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 anyway, ho. If you want to do that, if you really want to do that, read, learn look into it, know your character and what you want to accomplish. And then you won't, ha- even if somebody doesn't believe in your character, you can still have fun with your role play and mm-hmm. it can go in the proper direction so that you have fun and so does everybody else. Yeah, and it yeah. doesn't, and it, it's one of those things we touched mm-hmm. on earlier too, it doesn't have to be the forefront of everything you do, you know? No. I, I work for the post office. Guess what the first words out of my mouth aren't every single time I meet anybody, you know? It's just something I do or something I am. I'm a postal right. worker. But just like that, you're a vampire werewolf. If the situation you're in, you know, you're at a party, <laughs> you're probably talk, not why gonna don't you talk it. about the weather? You know, that's not the first thing you know you need to bring up. It's okay to yeah. just have that be a... Uh, it's it's a back burner issue, really. It's it's something that exists. It's something that's there, but it doesn't have to be the forefront of everything you do. Your, and, your character's personality, uh, life experiences, things like yes. that are far more important than than the fact of all these other things, you know. And and remember, in some in some lore bases, knowing you are a werewolf will get you killed. Yeah, or a vampire, or, or a vampire, or a freak of nature, or you know, like or, in EQ, yeah. it wasn't as big of a deal anymore because we had the free bloods and, and yeah, they were literally was... a race. Yeah, yeah. So they really screwed up their lore on that one. Don't get me you, started. Don't start. Don't, don't start. Let's just not even go to the. Yeah, we don't. Things. Unfortunately, for those that. listening, we don't have the time for her to go on her tirade about that. <laughs> no. So don't worry, I'm not going <laughs> to bring it up. Don't get me started. But well, yeah. Free bloods. Uh, okay. <laughs> That Our blood is so free. Bad. Let us go. Oh, stop. Okay. I don't want to go down that road. Okay. So <laughs> I might obsess a little bit. Play about free like blood. <laughs> don't miss Action. Come on. Uh, so it's important to know where the world stands. Like any, yeah. So some people will just kill you if they know what you are. Yeah, you the, can't those, come out and say I'm a werewolf. The you know, temple because, people, they would. They, yeah. I'm pretty sure if somebody came you. out, like one of your characters, if you ever meet them, yeah, I'm pretty sure if they found out what any of uh, the other people were, it would probably de- you know devolve in into badly. a fight right then and there. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. Right, you know, which I, I, and I know you would be, but yeah. then again, you're also not going to be like. And by the way, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm a werewolf. Just so you know. Yeah, she doesn't tell Shank. anyone that. Yeah. So yeah, so because she's aware that actually out of her. out of character, I know, and I even think I only found that out when you went to that werewolf meeting thing. But in right. character, I definitely know I don't know. Yeah, yeah. She and doesn't tell anyone or sentence. act that way. She doesn't act like a werewolf in front of anyone. The most you'll ever say is that she hunts people, but that could just as well. She's a Bosmer she... too. Let's be honest. Yeah. She's already filthy she's a... and dirty. <laughs> She's Nobody a Bosmer, and difference. she's an she doesn't tell anybody she's an assassin either, but she hints at that more than she does werewolf. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's important to know how the culture is going to take um, your special specialness. So that's, speciality, and it's yes. it's a good thing to be open minded. You know, when you approach somebody and say I'm a werewolf, and you you don't have something quite right in the lore then yeah. be open-minded and you know if you have to change your character a little you know it, yeah. it doesn't hurt well that's like know? when i was told I, I was rp'ing that my character doesn't speak common tongue and i didn't understand that the common tongue is uh alien slash uh altmer yeah it's so a, it, yeah it's uh, yeah and i didn't know that so once i found that out i i switched things a little bit and 
you know, changed her learning curve to go a little faster because Dun Mary and Altmer are are related but not exact. So yeah. it would be hard, kind of like Portuguese versus Spanish. Right. Is like melting your brain yeah. to try to make that connection. But they're very similar, really. They're related. Yeah. So once I did that, then I could change it. But you know, I didn't get mad when somebody told me that. Yeah, or I like just said, was it Chinese oh, and Mandarin or or whatever those yeah. two Chinese languages are that are they're completely different you know there there's but similarities they're very, but yeah. there one is one i i only know this from watching the movies one is has a lot of sh 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 in it and another one is a lot harsher yeah you know more so it's more important like germanic angry like she so said, angry. if if somebody comes to you and says look this is out of line with lore say Why okay how it? how how is yeah, it outside ask questions. Of lore? Yeah. explain it to me <laughs> and once they explain it i was like oh well, I can shift things so that that makes a little more that sense makes, then. I didn't yeah. realize yeah. that the common tongue wasn't like English. It's actually alt Mary. Okay, well, there we go. I didn't See, know that. I don't think even I knew that. Yeah. I, I mean, I I'd, I'd heard either. somebody else call what the common tongue in the Elder Scrolls was. I didn't put it together that that would basically just be the elven, you know, alt, alt, high elf language. Yeah, they're basically all languages other than the, the beast languages and the original uh, Red Guard whatever they were called, Yok, Yok, Yakutin. Um, Yakutin. They have, their, they have their own language, but everything else is based <laughs> on alien. So they're all related distantly to each other. Oh, well, um, I've learned something today. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Because when you're reading the stuff on the websites, they don't tell you that. I had to actually dig around to find it. But once I found it, it was there. I just didn't know to look. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm, I am always enjoyed Elder Scrolls. But one of the things is, is it is insanely overwhelming to try to learn that lore in any any short period of time because there yeah. is so much. I'm still learning. There's so much there. You know, I can't okay. even absorb it all. Quick ADD moment. I actually got curious. You know how we find you find the books in that game all over the place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Two thousand six hundred plus <laughs> between yeah. the book lore, between the books that you find in cases, the notes, between char you know characters that you find, all those little glowy mm -hmm. things. Two thousand six hundred. Uh, various and that's before the expansion comes out which i'm sure we'll probably add another you know 500 right. plus to it it's it's, it's, a, it's really involved that game. is an insane yeah. number and, and every every single one of those was written as been lore. Has, in, yeah. and it's it's wrote out somebody's wrote a story some of them aren't more than a page you know or, or a paragraph or two and some of them go on for you know like almost a Other chapter's pages. worth of a book it's insane but it's yeah. also very cool but it also you know and that's one of the things that makes the lore in that game difficult. We're getting a little off on tangent here, but it's it's yeah. it's a cool, it's a very cool aspect of that of that game and that series as a whole, is that they put that much. I wish a lot more games would be like, and we have characters that glow like Tron Pantheon. We don't know why yet. We just <laughs> like the aesthetic. Oh god! And I don't mean yeah. to keep bashing on Pantheon. It just it's it just looks easy. like garbage yeah. to me. And after what was it, Macquarie? said about yeah. role players it's like i don't yeah. know how any role players are like yeah i'm still so excited for this it's gonna be fantastic yeah you know he thinks you're a giant douchebag right like he he almost literally said you're just a waste of skin and not worth their time and effort to try to get to join their game yep now yeah, how much would like, you pay yeah <laughs> but we probably need to tie yeah we're gonna need to wrap it up so yeah. All right, so that's that's pretty much where we're at on that. You know, just follow the lore, know your audience, um, know why you want to do that kind of thing. You be open-minded. Be open-minded. And you know, there is nothing wrong with playing a mortal character. So yeah, yeah. don't you don't, have don't to feel do drawn. Don't feel drawn to play a specialty character. It's not necessary to have fun. Mortals are very fun and actually harder probably to play in many ways than mm -hmm. than specialty and, characters. And if you do play a specialty character, don't get all bent out of shape when someone's like yeah my character would probably try to kill you right now well you know follow what your character would do and don't get upset at someone else because their character now wants you dead yeah <laughs> so and don't brush it off because you know they can't kill you that's just being a douchebag in a god modern <laughs> that is a whole different right i know let's not go down that path either but it's one we will hit eventually yes, here on is. rp mmo radio so i want to thank everybody uh apologize again for the power outage unfortunately you know the shit happens when it comes to weather comes to weather 
but uh, you can you can hit us up at RPM and Radio uh, on Facebook or uh, at at Twitch at RPM and Radio. All those all those various things uh, at RPM Radio.com is our website. If you want to join our Discord, uh, feel free. We're more than happy. We chat. We got a couple people in there. We chat with them. They're they're fantastic people uh, for the most part. You know, I guess most of them are all right. Um, I like them all. If, yeah, kiss ass. If they're you're all my favorite on iTunes, which I have seen seems to be everyone's favorite platform. Who would have thought Apple something people like? I didn't. Yeah. But iTunes is actually, regardless of what you think of Apple, iTunes is actually pretty pretty damn handy, and they they are the only one of all the things that actually allows you to leave a comment and uh you know like us or and all that stuff and if you do that we would appreciate that uh the more you do that stuff the the higher up on the search list for things we show up when people look up mmo podcasts and things like that we actually do show up if someone puts in mmo podcast we do actually show up on that which is good because that's what we are just for role play which most mmos are like right people do that Oh my god. I feel like Steve Martin in the jerk all of a sudden. Yeah. I'm somebody. I'm somebody. <laughs> when he gets the phone book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somebody hates these cans. Get away from the cans. I'm showing this my age something now. No man should ever say. Always go near the cans. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boob jokes. Anyway. Oh dear God. What? I'm just saying. So close us all out. All right. Well, Ash. I yeah. want to thank everybody else night. for joining us. I am <laughs> Ashley night. Phoenix, thank you. Jazz, Sib, and uh, join us in two weeks' time. Uh, I'm not really sure what we'll be talking about, but we'll hit something up. It'll likely be role play related. So join us <laughs> next time when we will talk about halflings. Why are all vampires actually just two halflings stacked on top of each other? Oh, I don't know. God. You don't know, but we'll talk about it. But probably not. Next yeah. time on RP MMO Radio. Thanks, everybody. Uh, you guys Thanks. have a great night. And Thank we'll you. see you in two weeks. The thoughts and opinions expressed by RP MMO Radio are just that and should not be taken as the gospel truth, but pretty close to it. Music provided by Husky by the Geek. Visit him at youtube.com slash Husky by the Geek to hear all his great rock covers. <laughs>